Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite mother of three bougie vintage and today's video is a story time. Oh my god. As you can see by the title of this video, a lot has happened. And so I want to break this part of the saga down for you because as if it couldn't get any crazier it just keeps getting crazier if you haven't caught up girl go and watch all the story times <laughs> and then bring your butt back over here but you're probably missing the premiere but this is not going to be a long drawn out story because there's not really a lot to it i guess i'll start with a few months ago when did i get rid of discord i had a discord and while i was on discord you can ask some of the girls in there i kept cussing everybody out not really but like i kept dragging them saying one of y'all is pregnant in here and you need to come forth and say who it is because the way i am tired and the way i'm craving things like something's not right right and so everybody was like it's not me <laughs> i was like it's not me it's not me but i was real legit having symptoms and girl i knew it wasn't me yet i knew what i mean now. i was just joking obviously but well <laughs> in a recent turn of events i found out that there was somebody pregnant and so let's talk about last wednesday pretty much what happened was since the last video i filmed where i ended up going to court in jamaica that situation pretty much opened back up the access from my ex to the children doing facetime calls there was a set days that were scheduled for the calls but those days were not working for anybody okay so i was like had to like negotiate with him to change the schedule to make it work for not just him but for everybody because my kids had started school and so we end up changing our calls from it was tuesday thursday and i think saturday and we changed it to monday wednesday and sunday because that just works better now for us it still didn't really work but i had to figure out how to make it work and so i did i had to restructure my whole entire life because we already had our flow of things and so i restructured when um, my kids like get home from school what time i do homework with them what time we eat dinner what time just everything i had to change the whole entire schedule so that on those certain days that the when the call is happening nothing is you know affecting it i did that and their calls switched from the tuesday thursday saturday schedule to the sunday monday wednesday schedule you know that's my favorite day of the week right okay so <laughs> um last wednesday literally last wednesday the children were on their first wednesday call it was also a full moon that's neither here nor there or is it but earlier that day I had been on Instagram and I came across this lady's page and her name was like Mo Millions or Mo's Millions, okay? And so this random video of hers popped up on my timeline and I watched it and I was like, this is so funny. And so I just went to her page and I kept watching videos. Well, as I was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I got a little too deep into her page, I saw this video. And so when I saw it, I brushed it off. Now, the reason I brushed it off was because this is one of the ways I get warned, right? This doll popping up. And so it's, it's like clockwork, okay? So, but because I knew there was a scheduled call that day, I just brushed it off. I was like, ain't nothing, this, ain't nothing gonna disturb my peace right now. You know what I mean? And so I brush it off and totally forget about it. But if you notice, the imagery of that is the innocent version of the doll, not the possessed version right and so we're gonna come back to that point i never clicked the video when i first saw it because it, when i saw it i was just like okay it's time for me to stop scrolling and I just put my phone down and go do something productive like that's how i handled th that situation it, it wasn't until after that i went back to her page in the nighttime and watched what the actual video was so fast forward it is the evening and i set my kids up with their ipad to have their phone call and so it's only been like five minutes into the call and when my ex had first picked up the phone there was a lot of like chatter or something in the background and so he had said to the kids that there's um 
random stuff on the TV. Okay, fine. Well, they say their conversation. And as they're talking, in the background, loud and clear as day, you hear, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> And so me and my mom were sat on the couch, right? And so me and my mom look at each other like, are you hearing that? And she's like, yeah, I hear that. And at that point, the kids hear it. And this is when the gagging begins because ain't no walls that thin. Your neighbors cannot be having walls that thin that, or your house cannot be such thin walls that we're hearing that noise so loud and clear but also it can't be that it was coming from the tv because there was nothing no other noise it's not like if you were watching a show and that was on a show that it would make sense i knew in my spirit right away what time it was okay i look at my mom my mom looks at me and we're like oh my god but like i said my kids heard it so my kids are like do you have a baby <laughs> my kids say do you have a baby is that a baby? And then Belle is saying, there's a baby crying. She's like, wah, wah, wah. And Belle's mocking the baby, okay? Or the noise that she believes that she's hearing. And so at that point, once the kids hear it, and me and my mom hear it, we're looking at each other. The kids are like, is there a baby there? The man flat out blatantly tells them, no, okay? He doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I kid you not, I was on, I was gagged. I said, not your gaslighting them, right? And so I didn't think that made any sense because what do you mean? No, we all heard it. We're not delusional or crazy. We all heard it. So we're sat there and I'm like, to deny your child is really wild, real wild. And so that's how we found out, but he denied it. But you know me, girl, I don't leave nothing alone, okay? <laughs> I don't leave anything alone. I have to do my due diligence and investigate because you one thing you're, you you can lie to me all you want, you're not gonna lie to these kids. Period. In my mind, I don't understand if you found out why I continue to lie. So or try to hide because you can hide a pregnancy, you can't hide a crying baby. Okay? And see, me, I knew that because when I was pregnant with Noli, I was very MIA from social media. I'm MIA from social media anyway, right? But like, I was very, mm, not trying to give away the tea, and that, because I was embarrassed, as one should have been, right? But um, once I hit the seven month mark, I was like, I'm done with this. Especially because at the time I was still doing nails and I was having clients come to my house and they were seeing me. I would be in big t-shirts and stuff, but they could clearly see that I was pregnant. And shout out to all of them girls because obviously they never leaked the business, okay? <laughs> but I hid my pregnancy until I felt confident enough to say, you know what, I'm pregnant because why am I hiding a pregnancy? I'm married number one even though my ex didn't cheated on me and i was pregnant after that it didn't matter that didn't matter to me at the time i was like working on my marriage <laughs> so i was able to hide the pregnancy but i knew i wasn't gonna be able to hide a crying baby and i was sick of hiding because it's not a cool place to be in right it's not it's not comfortable to have to hide a pregnancy because you're feeling ashamed or embarrassed me saying all that is you can hide a pregnancy you cannot hide a crying baby and so whatever their call happened they got off the call and then i put my kids to sleep once i put my kids to sleep i went to do my regular nighttime routine which included journaling and so obviously i'm gonna include that in the journal because gag right so i'm journaling and the ladies page comes back to me i because i was writing and i'm like no this doesn't make any sense if if there's a baby there i would have been warned prior to finding this out even though I was because I'm having freaking pregnancy symptoms and I'm like, what the freak is this? So as I'm writing and I write like, I must have been warned prior to this because there's not one thing that happens that I don't know about. And actually I was warned multiple times, but it was leading up to. So once I was journaling, I remembered the lady's page. I said, oh my God, I did get warned earlier with the innocent version of the doll. So everything made sense at that point. I said, oh my God, no, there really is a baby there. <laughs> So I'm like gagging, okay, gagging, because I'm like, this is exciting, congratulations. <laughs> this is super exciting, right? Not really, but 
to me, I was like, well, child, I called this, right? So, boom, I realized I was warned. And then I, that's when I went back to the lady's page and I watched the video and it was just foolishness. It was the soul glow, right? Not soul, uh, was it soul glow? Yeah, soul glow for Jerry Curls, right? And so then I came off of her page and I went about my business and I went to sleep. I wake up the next day and obviously I tried to get my sleuth on because I want hard cold facts. That's how I operate. Like when you watch my story times and I'm telling you guys about how I find stuff out, I gather evidence. I don't just assume things, right? Even if it looks like a duck and it's quacking like a duck, I still need to make sure it's a duck. Cause what if it's a goose with a duck beak on, okay? A costume, okay? Like what if it's a goose? So I had to do my little researchy search. And so the first thing I did was go on to Google. And the reason I went on to Google was because unfortunately, since the situation started to unfold, the mistress came off of social media. Why? Because her life became terrible once I had to expose what was going on behind closed doors. And so it's unfortunate for her because she had a social media account, she had Instagram, Facebook, she had everything before she got with my ex. And so once she became the mistress and the news broke on YouTube, well, she had to delete certain things and she never returned. And if she did return, she returned with an alias so that nobody could freaking find her. But she made a mistake. And her mistake was, even though she doesn't have Instagram or Facebook, or Twitter she decided she was gonna log into her Pinterest and if you want to see the Pinterest you're gonna to have to be a member that's gonna be an exclusive video but when I went to find out if I could find anything online because obviously I don't have him on social media and I knew that this is not something that he would post because if he's gonna lie about it and deny it obviously he ain't posting it on social media and that would also mean that anybody close to him is not posting it on social media either because it needs to be tight-lipped because it's also being withheld from court. Like I said, I Google her and her Pinterest pops up, right? Nothing else but that and her like like old stuff that I've already seen before. So I go to the Pinterest and the on Google, literally there, it said something about a baby shower. Now, unfortunately for her, she's a lot like my children with very unique names, right? We got Salem Story, Bellamy Glow, Nola Victory. There's not gonna be a lot of those in town, okay? <laughs> There's not gonna be a lot of those people around with those same names, unless you've watched the video and said, oh, I like that name, I'm gonna name my kid that too, right? So, because her name is unique in that way, I knew it was hers, and it also was linking me to um, Pinterest.ca, right? So, or the Canadian version of Pinterest, and so I was for sure that it was her. Everything was adding up, a girl. Two plus two was equaling Corey, okay, shout out to Corey. <laughs> so I'm on the page and like I said, the first thing I see is a baby shower brunch thing um, and um, gender reveal and all these things. And so at that point, my suspicions were confirmed and that is how I found out that um, my ex had another child. Now, the other thing that was on her Pinterest was stuff for a wedding girl. She wants to get the ring because she's not the type of girl or she doesn't come from the kind of stock that would be a baby mama, you know what I mean, right? So though it looks like she's repeating history, having the baby first and then getting married, unfortunately for her, the wedding is never gonna happen. And this is why. Pretty much since originally when I left Canada, I had always intended to go back to Canada, but then I got accused <laughs> of kidnapping my kids and my ex made it impossible for me to go back to Canada, which is why I ended up having to get rid of everything that I had in storage to furnish my Canadian dwelling and all those things, right? Because they made it impossible for me to go back over there. Our divorce was never finalized, which technically works in his benefit because I know that he doesn't want to get married again. This is a great way to lead somebody on, 
It is. Unfortunately for her, they are, will never be married because we will unfortunately never be divorced because I am never returning to Canada. And unless I return to Canada, which has a lot of repercussions because of how they handle the situation, our divorce won't be finalized. The courts in Canada will not finalize the divorce, which means I don't know why she's posting stuff about getting married to a man that is still legally married. That's bigamy. And it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening because you guys thought that you were going to just come and ruin people's lives and just be honky dory. You no, know, now you now you stuck being a baby mama. Can't get married. Well, if she's smart, she get up and go, or she'll stay barefoot and pregnant because maybe her thought process was if she goes forth with her pregnancy, he'll just forget about us over here, minding our business, and move on with his new family. But that's not what's happening. In fact, he denied the child. And so I would hate to be having to stay isolated and not allowed to publicize that I've had a child now, you know, not allowed to post my child on social media. I can't even speak in the background because his other kids don't know I exist and they don't know the baby exists. Well, they do know the baby exists, but the baby's been denied. And so I think it's a really sad and unfortunate situation, you know, because nobody should have to go through that i said it before i wouldn't wish this stuff on my worst enemy but you can't get entangled and try to ruin somebody else's life and then think that you're just going to be able to move on with your life and you know further ruin somebody else's life it doesn't make sense like it's not fair she has her pinterest wish list of rings that she likes and you know engagements and all those things but it's just not a possibility until I'm able to return to Canada without getting draw dong at the airport. <laughs> uh, the wedding is off the table. So I would love to be able to return to Canada peacefully and sign the divorce papers because I tried to ha get that handled before I left, but now I can't. So she gonna be stuck being somebody, baby mama and having to, well, now she doesn't have to hide right now she can have social media if she wants and she can post her baby girl and do what she needs to do but i would be damned if i was living with a whole man and i couldn't even make a peep in the house when he's on the phone with his kids and i had to hush up my child i said did she pinch the baby and make it cry so we will find out <laughs> i don't know what happened girl but yeah that's the the latest development in this saga i don't want her to be misled thinking that she maybe because i don't know maybe she doesn't realize that we're not fully divorced i don't know but we're not divorced so they can't get married well i guess they could have like a ceremony they can't file legally to say hey we're married it's wild very wild out here yeah i mean i wish them the best i could only wish that he would just go and be with his new family and allow us to continue living our lives peacefully here because how do you bring my kids into that situation like that's pretty crazy so that's the tea y'all he didn't have another baby now four kids is crazy <laughs> not me baby i'm done done three is good for me i'm good hopefully she can come out of hiding soon and doesn't have to live her life in this silence and shame really i have no ill feelings towards either one of them i i, I wish them all the best I, I hope they have 10 more baby girls okay <laughs> 10 more baby girls um yeah sucks wasn't a boy yeah 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 you can always try again anyway i love you all so much and i will definitely see you in the next one the desperation is real. First of all, excuse the wig if it's lifting because I already peeled it off, girl. Because every time I think I'm finished filming, something else comes up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I already filmed the video. I already edited the video. I already teased you guys about the video, but the video's not coming out yet. I don't know when it's gonna be coming out, but by the time you see this, obviously the video would have come out. Now, really quickly. So on Wednesday, I had filmed the mistress videos. And on Thursday, I received an email responding to my last email because the power went out on Wednesday and so my kids didn't get to do what they were supposed to do. And so because the power went out, I had to send an email to say, hey, the power's out, it's hurricane season, all these things, whatever. Well, I never got a response back to that email until the next day. So the next day, I receive an email. My top lip might even be looking crazy right now. So if it is, there's gonna be an unacceptable 
lemon grab above my upper lip. <laughs> Let me see. I'm gonna try to salvage it the best way I can. Hopefully, I can work some movie magic. I don't really know how to edit like that, but we gonna figure it out. So yeah, so yesterday, Thursday, I get an email. So this is a, literally a day after I filmed that video. Nobody knows that I filmed this video. Nobody has any idea what's in this video. You're only now finding out what's in the video and me releasing the video. Do you understand? So Thursday, they email me. And by they, I mean Rapunzel has the doll's phone, okay? So Rapunzel takes the phone and she emails me. And I'm having flashbacks, okay, PTSD. Because remember the last time Rapunzel thought she should take somebody's phone and, e and text me? Do you remember what happened last time? <laughs> That's neither here nor there. She messages me and she's like, hey, pretending to be the doll again, okay? She's pretending to be her boyfriend. So she's like, hey, about the divorce stuff. And I'll just insert the thing so you can read it yourself. Hey, about the divorce stuff. If I fill if I fill out all the paperwork and send it to you, do you think you would send it back or whatever? Then it says, also, since you missed the call um, yesterday, Friday and Saturday can be the makeup call instead. First of all, my last email to them, to him actually, not them. My last email to him was, about the call. When you respond, you're supposed to respond and say, yeah, Thursday's cool, because that's what I said. I actually said yesterday was supposed to be the makeup call, um, but they never, he never responded. So they email me back the day they're supposed to get the call and say all these things. But like, you're supposed to respond to what I said and then add in, hey, about the divorce, okay? Well, they did the opposite. So that let me know what the priority was. Okay, the priority at this point was not the children. The priority is the divorce because somebody wants to go to Santorini to elope, okay? And so, of course, what am I gonna do but agree and oblige? So I respond, I'm like, of course I will sign. I will gladly sign those documents with the stipulation that you agree to stop trying to return the children to Canada and we just live our happy lives the way we're living it now. We can increase the calls or whatever, whatever. Because why am I doing you a favor? How are you gonna message me and ask me about sending the divorce papers all the way to Jamaica so that we can finalize the divorce? Because you wouldn't be asking me that unless there's a desperation to get married. And just like in my video that I filmed, I said he does not have that urgency to get married. She wants to get married because she had a baby and thought that she was going to live the wife life for whatever she thought she was gonna live, but it's just not a possibility. And so the desperation set in, set in and they thought they should message me and ask me for a favor. Well, they never responded. I got stonewalled, of course, but I needed an answer. So I emailed again, okay? And I was like, so what's, what's good? Like, are we gonna go ahead and agree with that and get the lawyers involved? Or are we gonna just stay married until one of us dies? What do you wanna do? Cause I'm not gonna sit in limbo. And so of course now he responds, not her this time. He responds and he says, no chance. <laughs> He's like, no chance. He's like, no chance. He's gonna fight to the death, okay? To bring the girls back to Canada. And so at that point I'm like, okay, so don't ask me for any favors because I would have been back to Canada last year. We could have got the divorce officialized last year, officialized, that's not a word yet. We would have got everything done last year and then he could have had his wedding already, but that's not what he wants to do. The lady is being led on. And so, pity the fool, okay? But um, yeah, could you believe the audacity to ask me about the divorce papers and you are not willing to leave me and my children alone? So wait, let me get this straight. So you want me to do you a favor by signing the divorce papers so that you can complete your family unit while mine was torn apart, but that's neither here nor there. You want me to sign the divorce papers so that you can complete your family unit because you don't want to be a baby mama, but you have not said, why don't you let them stay over there and we be over here. You have actually tried to send legal documentation in Canada prior to this to steal my kids from me and think that you were gonna be their mama and have the nerve to think that I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll sign those divorce papers for you so you guys can move on with your life. And then also try to uproot my kids and bring my kids into that situation when your, your boyfriend has lied to them about the existence of your daughter. Is it crack cocaine? Or is it the opioids from Frederick that you're taking? Inquiring minds like no, but I thought that it was pure lunacy to ask me for a favor when they not doing me no favors. 
and they have never done me any favors. So yeah, I said, don't ask me for any favors then. And he never responded, which I didn't expect him to. And so yeah, that's um, how that situation ended. But I just had to add that in before I publicize the video, whenever I do that. I love you all and I'll definitely see you in the next one. So my kids tend to obsess over things. I will all go figure. Um, so literally on every call now, they've brought up the baby and he's continued to gaslay even when they hear the baby in the background. So this audio that I'm about to play is from maybe the third call since they heard the baby crying the first time, just gaslighting and trying to distract them, denying. And then he actually turned the volume on his TV up to the literal max. It was blaring through the um, speaker of the iPad to the point where my kids were screaming at him to turn it off and then they ended up hanging up on him because he didn't turn the volume down he was trying to distract them so that happened and then um, on another call which was after I then um, offered settlement via the lawyers so I went to the lawyers and I told them pretty much what I said in this video and um, my lawyer went to his lawyer with the settlement well his lawyer never responded to my lawyer but something interesting happened on the call that week which was that his microphone was all of a sudden not working properly and the kids were struggling to hear him and they've been struggling to hear him ever since so now when they call they can barely hear him and they're like fix your mic fix your volume fix your mic fix your volume but he manipulated it somehow or he's put his airpod in and is away from the airpod so they can't really hear him because he doesn't want them to hear what's going on in his house instead of just being like yeah i had a baby <laughs> like i asked my kids if they care like they don't like they're they're more concerned about why he's lying and and why he's making them feel crazy in a sense because they know what they're hearing and I'm not going to be like, no, girls, you're delusional. You know, I'm not adding to that. So I haven't lied to them. They know what time it is because they've asked me. Of course, they're not just asking him. They're like, mommy, do you hear this? Mommy, blah, blah, blah. blah. And I'm not going to sit there and lie to them. So I validated their feelings, but he's continuing to lie to them. And it's just crazy. Yes, you do. How do you know? Because I hear crying babies in there. That's weird. Yeah, the last time I heard dishes. What is that? Whoa, did you just whistle and then I heard more whistles? Daddy, uh, turn the TV off. No one wants to hear that loud busted booby now. I don't know who needed to hear this, but good for you. <laughs> to leave people them alone and you see sometimes when a queen is minding her business getting said and why you understand getting another queen can boy getting say they want the queen life I don't know who needed to hear this, but good for you. And <laughs> stop f***ing lying. Stop f***ing lying. I know the real, <laughs> anyway.